When you think of Miss America, you probably picture the ideal beauty, flawless and poised. But one contestant this year at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino hopes to change your idea of ideal. Miss Delaware, poised, talented, bald. And it started when I lost my eyelashes and then my eyebrows and then my part started to widen on the top of my head. At age 10, Kayla Martell was diagnosed with alopecia areata, a rare autoimmune disease causing the body to attack its own hair. But at age 21, she was crowned the new Miss Delaware and will compete to become Miss America in Las Vegas while wearing a wig. Although she has competed without hair, Martell says her long blonde locks are no different than other common pageantry enhancements like makeup, fake eyelashes, or push-up bras. By wearing the wig, I'm more approachable, but I'm not covering it up. I'm very honest about who I am. The judges know that I have alopecia. They know that I'm wearing a wig, so you got to work with what you got. As Miss Delaware, Martell makes several television appearances as a bald woman and rarely wears a wig in her everyday life, bringing the issue of alopecia and hair loss to the forefront. I think it's wonderful what she's doing and to say that, you know, it is only hair. You're still beautiful inside and out. Boville knows firsthand what Miss Delaware is going through as she started losing her hair at age seven. Other than having no hair, there's nothing wrong with me. I can do anything anybody else can do. You know, I'm not dying. Being a bald woman, it's hard because we associate hair loss with either being very sick or aging. I'm very healthy on the inside. I just happen to be allergic to my hair. Hair loss, especially in children, can be devastating. So in 2006, Bovel created a nonprofit called I'm a Kid Foundation, offering support, resources, and comfy kids therapy dolls. Being a child and having alopecia is extremely challenging. It's life altering. You know, we will donate these dolls to the children in need that can use them, as well as to go into schools and educate the public on hair loss in children. So when you have a child come into your class, they don't get teased and ridiculed for not being, you know, like everybody else and having hair. The Miss America organization requires each contestant to have a platform or a cause. Miss Delaware says living with alopecia every day makes her a better advocate for the disease and a role model for children. So I even had a girl send me a message the other day saying that she decided to go to school without wearing her wig. It brought me to tears. I was sitting in my room reading that and I just realized that even if it's just one person, I'm, I'm making an impact and that's what this is all about. I am going to watch the pageant. I fully support Miss Delaware. I love her platform and I wish her all the best. And even if Miss Delaware doesn't walk away with the big crown tonight, she's already won a Quality of Life Award and a $4,000 scholarship recognizing contestants who excel in community service. For Examiner.com in Las Vegas, I'm Courtney Perna.